Hello friends, how are you? This is Junaid Khan and in today's video I will be uh, talking about the CPA or IPA coding questions and this is the part 1 and uh, yeah, as you all know that uh, TCS is going to take CPA or IPA for the incentive purpose for the people who are going to join TCS and they have cracked the interview and they got the joining letter. After the joining letter they generally get the CPA part. So let's get started for the CPA. So this is the Python part uh, which I am going to sh uh, share with you the Python question. So let's move. This is a 12th January CPA Python question. In this uh, uh, what type of how we should make the program how should we write the program I will be talking about that. So let's just get started with the question. So in this we have to create a class traveler. So just focus on the part. This is very simple. Okay, as uh, you all know that uh, Python is not a hard language. If you just give us a simple part or just simple thinking about that or simple follow the concept of what we are, I'm going to show you. You can easily crack the CPA part. Okay, so create a class traveler. So first we have to create a traveler class with blue attributes. What are the attributes we are going to write? That first name is traveler name. Okay, first second is traveler country which country has been traveled the traveler name should be is in the string format or uh, i will tell you how should we write the in a string format and travel country list of string so we have to uh, make a string a list of the string type represent the name of the country so we have to just represent the name of the country which traveler has uh, visited then we have to write the traveler age okay so what uh, the age should be is in an integer format as we all know that uh, we uh, we write our age in the integer format and the country from which country uh, that traveler belongs to is in the string format so we have to first first we have to create a class traveler and these four are the attributes of that class okay and then after that we have to uh, this is the first class okay so we have to make a for class one and there is a, another which uh, create a constructor which take all above the attributes so we have to make, make a constructor to which take all above attributes these attributes in the same sequence same sequence uh, it will take the attributes and after that we have to define another class travel agency so here we have to write uh, uh, we have to make another class which is travel agency with blue attributes what are what will be the attributes traveler list list of traveler objects okay so uh, who are the travelers so traveler agency uh, generally manages all the traveler list and there is uh, he, he will manage or travel agency will manage these traveler list in the form of list format and having the blow member function these member function will be there in the in this traveler agency first is count travelers traveled country so what is this count traverse travel country which takes a string this will take a string representing the name of a country as input so he, uh, it will take a uh, represent country name as input which is in the string format and returns the count of the travelers and it will returns the count of the traveler from the traveler list okay so we will just write uh, give a name of the country this simple we have to just input what we have to input the name of the country and it will return the count of the travelers travel from that country and it will travel as a who has traveled from that country okay so it's simple after that we have to write a second get traveler traveled max country what does this mean get traveler traveled max country finds the traveler who has traveled highest number of countries so we have to find the uh, traveler who has traveled highest number of countries and return the name of that traveler so we have to return the name of the traveler who uh, visited my, many number of countries most number of countries if more than one such travelers are there having the highest count of countries traveled method return the name of the traveler whose name appear first in the list okay so suppose there are two men who travels the, the same number of countries and so th uh, this is the draw so what we have to do we have to uh, return the name of the uh, traveler which comes first okay so we will go with the alphabetical order so uh, let's uh, there is another part in this so what are the instructions to write the mean function so we have to also write the mean function so we have to write two classes okay two class we have to write and this is the main function we have to write so what are the main what is the main function we what, what we have to write in this main function you would require to write the main section completely okay so we have to write the main section completely we all know that has please follow the below instruction for the same 
So what are this section? You would require to read the main program which is in line to the sample input description section mentioned below and read the data in the same sequence. This is the same above line. Create the respective objects. So what are, what what objectives uh, what objects we have to write? Traveler, sorry, and travel agency. So we have to write objective traveler and travel agency with the given sequence of arguments to fulfill the. We have to write the init method. As mentioned in requirement defined in the respective classes different to the blow instruction. So what are this blow instruction? Create a list of travelers. So we have to create a list of travelers. Okay. So first is this. We have to create a list of travelers. First read the number of travelers you want to store in the list. So hum, what we will do? We will read the number of travelers. So suppose we read uh, there are three travelers. So we read that uh, traveler. How, how many travelers are there? Uh, we want to store in the list. Read the values for the traveler. So we will read the values for the traveler. Create the traveler object. So uh, for the reading the value travelers, we will create the traveler object and add it to the list. So what we will do? First, create object, and second, we will add it to the list. This point repeats for the number of travelers to be added. Suppose uh, there are three travelers, as I said. So we will do this part, these two parts, three times. So okay. So we have to uh, loop in this uh, three times. First, read the name of the traveler. So we will re read name of the traveler. Okay. Sorry for the bad handwriting, guys. <laughs> but first, we need to read the name of the traveler. Then, read a number representing the count of tra countries traveled. So first, kya kara ni? Uh, first, what we do? Read the name, and then second, what we do? Representing the count of countries traveled. So countries. Okay. Countries. Okay. And uh, read a string representing the name of the country and add it to the list. So uh, in uh, at last we will add the uh, country name in, into the list. This point repeats for the count taken in point to be above. These these types means we have to do these three parts in a single loop for each traveler. Suppose there are three travelers, so we will do it three times. These three uh, three things. Then finally read value for traveler age and country from. So we will finally what we will do. Read the traveler age and country form. These five things we have to do. Now create a travel agency. This is for the traveler object. Now we will move to the second thing. Uh, what is sorry? <laughs> travel agency object. Uh, I think it's showing. Okay, let me change the color of the pen. Let's take it as green. Travel agency object. By using the list created in point C1, read the name of the country. So we first we do read the name of the country to be passed to the function count travels traveled country okay call the function count travelers traveled country so we will call the function count travels traveled country by passing the value read in point what we will uh, pass the value read in point d what will be finally read the values travel agent country these values we will pass as an argument what value these values these value we will pass as an argument okay now call the function get traveler travel max country. Now we will call this function. Print the value returned by this method count travelers traveled country and print the value. These values we have to print. Okay. So we what we have to do? We have to do uh, output. How many outputs we are going to show? We are going to show two outputs. Okay. So let's move ahead. You can use refer the below given sample input. These are this is the sample input and the output for more details into of the format for input and output. I will show you the sample input. Uh, this is the sample input description. First line represent what the integer value which represents the number of travel objects. So first line what will it represent number of traveler objects. So I I have uh, told you that we have to first uh, read how many travelers we have we have to input it. So next line of input represent one traveler specific data below one by one in each line traveler name traveled country for the first the count of countries travel is read followed by the names of the country which i have told you here we have to read these parts okay we have to read this part and after that this part and uh, next line of the input uh, i have told you the point b this point b repeats of for, for the number of objects mentioned in the point a so this will repeat our sup suppose there are n number of travelers so this point will repeat n number of times okay the last line of the input is the name of the country to be passed as argument to the method country so la what, will, what will be the last line of the input is the name of the country to be passed as argument to the method country travelers traveled country okay so let's just see the input and output this is the input 
uh, suppose there are five so Sachin uh, for Japan this name and which country he has visited these are this type of input and output what would be the output two and Saurav okay so Saurav has visited uh, many number of com com countries suppose this is at 37 so he has visited 37 countries so Saurav okay and let's see the program how do we write it so first we have to uh, let's see first I will tell you what should we do we need to develop the python code which will create two classes that is traveler and travel agency which I have told you here uh, traveler uh, let me uh, sorry guys yeah we have to do traveler this class and travel agency these two classes and then in the main function we need to read all the variables as required and call the functions in the class declared uh, which I have told you write a main function there here first what we will do read all the variables as required and call the function and then we will create a function here. let me show you uh, let not bore you let me show you the program so first we will do the class traveler agency traveler okay so this is the first class and what we will do def define this is the function calling how should we uh, create class this is the class okay we uh, this is how we make a class and how we will uh, call a function or how, how we will define the function this is the defined and we have to write the initialize method init method as the program said so we will do init method and this for first parameter self is mandatory so first parameter self we have to write is it is add as it is after that we have to read traveler name first traveler name then which tra country he has traveler traveled then the travel age what's the age of traveler and which country he belongs to these four parts i have told you in the previous section here first read the number of travelers how many travelers are there uh, read the values for the traveler what will be the tra travelers values name of the traveler which country he uh, he has traveled to number of tra countries and then uh, uh, age and which country from so this is the same thing we have do we have did traveler name traveled country traveler age country form now how we will store these values in this name we can uh, choose this traveler name same as it is or we can say self uh, dot a so why we have write self self is written because uh, we are uh, saving these values self in this function so traveler name the name of the traveler will uh, save it self dot traveler name and travel country which country he has traveled so self dot travel country and traveler age what is the age of the traveler self dot traveler age just follow this simple path okay i didn't know about the uh, class and object uh, as at that time when i was writing the code or i was going for the cpa so i just follow the same uh, questions uh, previous question and see what is the pattern so i have uh, uh, realized that when we initialize the method and we will call a function uh, self parameter as in argument so we will save these values as self dot traveler name equals to traveler name self dot travel country is equal to travel country self dot traveler age equals to traveler age and self dot country from which country is his traveler is from the country from we have write that so now let's move to the next class so the class is travel agency so we will make a travel agency class and we will uh, define initialize method what is in it it is initialize I N I T I A L I S E S or Z. I don't know. Uh, confusing the uh, spelling. So just correct it, guys. So define def, def, define function initialize. So we will just again see. We will pass the parameter self and then pass list. So which list we have to pass? Which we have created in the main function. I will show you the main function later so self dot traveler list equals to pass list this pass list is uh, stored in the traveler list. i have told you that we can change this name uh, in the previous section if you see here traveler name these are the same name but we can uh, say self dot a we have write it and i have told you this so self dot traveler list equals to pass list define now we will uh, again define the second function uh, as asked in the pro uh, program in the question uh, as they have asked define count travelers traveled country the number of uh, traveler traveled the country we will define that so self here we will again pass the parameter self so in every function first parameter self 
mandatory we have to pass just remember this the first parameter should be self after that what the parameter the uh, question has given we will write that the second parameter was given as country so we will just initialize the country so we have to uh, see how many countries so we will initialize this count, count equals to zero so after that for i in self dot traveler list so for loop we will write for i in self dot traveler list for j and i dot travel country if j equals to equals to country if this person has uh, traveled this country the count will be incremented and then we will return the count so th this is the way we will re return the count how many how many countries that traveler has visited and then after that we will define third function which uh, was asked in the uh, question define get traveler traveled max country so we will define the get traveler traveled max country self so this will this method will return which traveler which traveler visited maximum number of countries maximum number of countries okay Oh, sorry for bad handwriting guys because I'm writing it with the mouse so <laughs> that's why just bear it with me so this will function with what will return traveler max number of countries max equal one equals to zero this is the name and this is the symbol uh, how we will show it then uh, for I in self dot traveler list uh, self dot traveler list self function will help in uh, us the traveler list uh, we can uh, follow okay what uh, we have passed the list so send dot travel list for if length length what is the function what is the length length is the length function i dot travel country is greater than my max one if this country is greater than max one then max one equals to land i dot travel country so we will store max one and the name of that traveler name and then return the name because we have to return the name as output i have sure uh, told you we have to write uh give the two outputs so here it comes the last part this is the mean function and equals to int input pass list we have created pass list we have uh, take the input how many uh, travelers how many test cases we want to do for i in range range is the function uh, from 0, 0 to n number of 0 to n we have to uh, run this loop and is the uh, number of times we want the test cases traveled country this is the list of we, this is how we will define the list traveled country then after that traveler name equals to input uh, we will uh, take the input as an input string this is how we take the input in the string format and this is how we take the input in integer format we will just pass the integer function before the input after that travel country count then uh, how many countries he has visited so we will just take as an integer format so this is how we will take input from the user this is so simple this is uh, just like we are doing english language then we will do, do the for loop 4j in range traveled country how many how many traveled country he has count so he had uh, visited so we will just take the count traveled country dot append input append function what we this append function do this will append function uh, suppose this is the list and here we want to append the uh, traveled country which country suppose brazil see a b country then a country this is how we append the uh, input so for every loop for every uh, time this loop run this append our uh, country name or input this is how if we will take input traveler age we will take the traveler age and uh, after that country from which country he has from we will write it here pass list dot append so then we will again the pass list this is the list we have defined the pass list so in this we will append traveler traveler name traveled country traveler age country from the data of the traveler first we will uh, store traveler name then after that travel country then traveler age and then after that country which he uh, he is belongs to from then this is o1 traveler agency pass list this is the object of the class and in this we have passed the list then name of country equals to input country can uh, country's name we have taken as input and we will now we will show the two outputs as i have told you that we have to do uh, we have to show two outputs so how we show the output in the python we will just write the print print function o1 o1 this is uh, this is o1 uh, this object dot count travelers traveler country name of country so name of country we will uh, 
name or how many count count of the country and then get traveler traveler max country which country he has visited and maximum this these two data will be printed this is the so simple first time you are seeing this uh, this is a so long uh, pro, a part pro problem so you might get a oh this is so big i can't understand i will not be able to do the CP, cpa clear so don't worry about it just uh, give it a try just write it by your own i have uh, told you i have give you the basic understanding what you should do okay so just go through it if you think that i have missed something and you didn't get it please let me know because if i'm making any other other video of the cpa because i will make around five to six i wish that i uh, should be able to make five to six and that uh, that part will help you because uh, recently i know that uh, on 25th feb uh, there is cpa or ipa so this cpa might help you okay so uh, this is the 15th feb cpa uh, which is recently around uh, five days back so i will uh, just uh, uh, give you the coding part of the python of cp uh, cp or ipa so that if you will get to the know the how the uh, pattern is going to be for the cpa part of the coding question so this will make you simple and you will be able to crack it easily so just uh, go through it and uh, do as many questions as possible and if you need anything please let me know and thank you guys for watching this video and sub please subscribe my channel thank you guys for watching and please share it with your uh, friends if you need anything and uh, if you want to talk or mail me i will sh uh, share my uh, details in the description box okay so just go there and thank you guys for watching this video please like it and share it and subscribe my channel